So I bought this uh, home theater upgrades for a few months now and I think it's time to install them in my home theater. Yay! So we have a new Denon um, AV receiver. It's the Denon X4700 and I will be upgrading my old Denon X1400H receiver. Um, we have a Q Acoustic 3020i bookshelf speakers. Um, this will be for the sides and we have some wall brackets so I can mount them up there and I'll be needing to um, remove these two Q acoustic front speakers and mount them somewhere in between the TV so uh, I'll have a better movie experience and before that uh, I will be needing to install this um, panel on the acoustic panels behind the TV so I can mount the speakers. So let's start. Okay, so I have finished uh, upgrading the home theater. As you can see, I've also calibrated the um, AV receiver as well to fit with the room. I used the built-in calibration system in the AV receiver. As far as I can tell with the upgrades, uh, the Denon 4700H is definitely more powerful than my old X1400H. Uh, I used to run my X1400H on uh, reference volume but I can no longer do that with the 47H because it's quite loud already. And if you have noticed I have used a Pioneer um, AV receiver on the top of this garage shelf. That AV receiver is actually the one powering a uh, two Atmos speakers on top of my um, ceiling which you can then see. 
but the other two Atmos speakers are a bit vis more visible than the ones on the other side because it's hidden and that, that those two is actually being powered by the X4700H what else so far honestly besides the uh, audio level audio volume I couldn't uh, notice anything much difference uh, especially with the surrounds I guess I was expecting a lot more but there was this one demo that I really really love I could definitely feel all the speakers uh, working together since I have a 11 speakers right now uh, it's configured in a 7.4.1 uh, Dolby Atmos setup so I have three speakers on the front the left the right and the center I have two sides and two at the rear so that sum up to seven speakers and I have four Atmos speakers at the ceiling and one subwoofer so yeah I think I need to watch more movies to feel or experience the difference more but so far um, I guess I'm not that impressed with the upgrades or maybe I should watch some older films that I do love and so for future upgrades I think I'll be needing one more subwoofer to be placed at the back or maybe replace the front subwoofer uh, with a more powerful one I think I would want to have some acoustic uh, blankets installed here to my left to help with the uh, acoustic treatment in the room less echo and less noise from the outside which is the kitchen area uh, what else? a bigger display I don't think so I think if I upgrade my screen uh, I mean the TV it will be very big if you are watching here on the front because I think the distance is just two meters or less uh, beside yeah I guess that's about it I am not I don't think I wanted to upgrade my speakers because they're quite expensive and I think the existing ones that I have is good enough for my use I'm not really uh, I mean home theater setups is not really my main hobby but I do love movies and that I can I do appreciate or I do want to watch movies in a better experience than just the regular TV or with headphones so yeah so that's the end of this uh, home theater upgrade for now and so far I think I'm not yet impressed with the upgrade but definitely would need to watch more movies so I could also break in the uh, new speakers I don't think the AV receiver needs break in so okay in my previous video I wired up two LAN cables from the network rack into the home studio well I didn't expect that I'd be needing more LAN cables connecting to my main network so I'll be installing this um, Twenty-four port TP-Link Gigabit switch, so I can have a few more. Uh, I don't have anything smaller than a twenty-four port. Uh, I got this from uh, the our internet cafe when it closed, so this will do for now. And yeah, I'll just need two LAN cables, one to my PC and the other to the uh, Nvidia Shield. So let's start.
Okay, so I need to build a garage shelf for the foyer so we can put some stuff on the garage shelves like uh, new deliveries, uh, alcohol, Lysol, and some disinfectants. Before we uh, go into the house, we do that. And I need to assemble my new table. It's nothing fancy, it just costs like um, 40 to 50 US dollars. But uh, it has a better leg rooms, which I love, so I can finally uh, put my chair inside the table, which I couldn't do for uh, a few years now because of my old setup and the one I'm using now. So I'm quite excited for that. And yeah, so let's start building the table and the garage shelf. So we have uh, reached the last part of the vlog where we will be unboxing a statue and for this week we are going to unbox a licensed statue from Sideshow and this one is sculpted by one of the greatest, Daniel Bell. I think this is going to be a quick assembly and unboxing. I don't think there's much pieces to this um, statue since sideshow pieces are usually very simple and only contain a few pieces. Probably to avoid uh, breaking them in, in shipping. Oh, I just realized this is a the second time in a row that we're unboxing a Silver Surfer.
here we go. Uh, this is the Sideshow's new Silver Surfer that was sculpted by Daniel Bell. Um, as you can see, this is the uh, art box and it looks really cool. Uh, kind of show where Silver Surfer comes from in space because he's a cosmic being. Comes with the usual white foam. kinda having problems unboxing because my ceiling isn't too high. I can't lift the box properly. So there we go. Uh, usual white foam. Sideshow should start using a Velcro. Easier to unbox than slicing this thick. Ah, don't you just love the smell of new statues? Okay, so I think it only comes in. Hmm, three pieces. So let's start with the base. Let's see, I got um, edition number 1652 out of the edition size of 2500. Hmm, okay. Next, Silver Surfer himself. He came in one piece. And it's look like I won an award. His left foot has a peg and key that obviously goes to the surfboard. And technically, if you didn't get the exclusive version, you're done. But since I got the uh, exclusive version, we still have... Uh, the we have this one that goes here or anywhere actually so we have Nova and we have Silver Surfer that's it for the unboxing and assembly pretty easy because it's sideshow what do you expect Let's put Frankie aside. Okay. So first impression. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Uh, first impression is I think the anatomy for Silver Surfer is good, but I kind of like the sculpt on the custom one that I did uh, last week. Hmm. He does have some weird calves here from both the left and right. Yeah, it does look very weird. Um, the base is amazing actually. Uh, I think it would have been better if the paint was metallic or maybe something brighter to kind of highlight it more to make it pop. 
the base is definitely better I mean paint wise on this than the custom one that I have the stars or the white dots are smaller here and it's more convincing than the one on the custom kind of sad that the surfer board is half you know and I think it's kind of thick would have preferred if it was a little bit thinner and as for Nova um, portrait always oh, she looks beautiful scope is amazing it's very consistent from the uh, I mean the, the the portal or the wave or whatever this black hole thing is uh, it's very consistent I like the paint on this one it really matches this Silver Surfer. Oh, I also like the paint on this one better, definitely, than the custom one. It's more um, a darker tone of silver than the custom one. It also has some shading which the custom didn't have. And as for this exclusive piece, the Nova, hmm, paint looks nice. And I think this, I think Nova glows in the dark but I'm not so sure about that anyway so that's the end of the vlog and also the end of the unboxing thank you for watching till the end and this is Carl and see you in the next one